Hi everybody, welcome to Gumpa TV. Hey guys, brought to you by Hobby Japan. This is our special contest announcement. Very special, very special. We are having a contest and we're going to announce it right here in this video. And it's a big one. It is bigger than our last big one. Much bigger, actually. The number, like there can be up to 30 winners. We'll go yeah. into that later. Yeah. And prizes worth more than 240,000 yen, which is about $2,600. Yeah, somewhere around yeah. there. Around, uh, over over $2,000 in prizes. Yeah. So there's a time Americans and you have a there. good chance to win this time. That's now, right. I guess I should say the name. Yeah. Let's give all the details out right yes. now. Yes. So it's the Hobby Link Japan, Hobby Link TV, Playing yeah. with Plamo Modeling Competition 2013. That's right. Now it says Playing with Plamo. Last time we did this, we said Playing with Plastic. And just oh, we like that idea. But it was mostly just sci-fi. We yeah. had a sci-fi modeling competition. This time, anything goes. Tank, sci-fi, non-sci-fi. If you want to make a tank, you want to make a motorbike, you want Plane, to make a race car, you want to car, make a boat, boat, a ship. ship, and of course, anything sci-fi. Of course, <laughs> anything goes. So anything goes. Sid. Yes. We have three main categories here, which yes. is beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Yes, we do. Do you want to break down beginner for us? Sure, well, beginner is basically the straight build, you know, you take it out of the box, you trim it off of the gates and you slap it together and uh, maybe slap some stickers on there and uh, submit your po picture, right? Yes. That's, that's the beginner. Like, we expect uh, beginners to, like, have a basic, a rudimentary understanding of how models go together, but they haven't, you know, ventured beyond that kind of thing. So. Absolutely. We and want the newbies in there. That's right, and the prizes are still, for that, are still pretty good. Yeah, um, last year we only had four prizes. Yes. Uh, I think three prizes maybe. Now we have one first place winner, mm -hmm. two second place winners, three third place winners, and four fourth place winners. It's like you can check out how much you win. Multiplying exponentially. Yes, yeah, so you have a very good chance. Also, uh, like our last competition we did, uh, the winners will be giving uh, a yen amount. Yes. And you can choose a number of kits up to that amount. So, for example, uh, the first place winner in this category will get uh, a 10,000 yen value. Mm -hmm. For three kits, so you pick yes. any three kits. So the prizes for all of the categories are like that. Yes. If I understand this correctly, yes. you, you will get a, a yen limit and a quantity, yep. and you can choose which of those which kits you want to make up that quantity. So if you win, I'd send you an email yep. telling you how much money you have, and you yep. would send me a list of the kits you want. That's they need right. to be orderable kits and yep. shippable kits within that time. No fancy business. Yeah. Uh, but it's still uh, it's still good. Yeah. Value. Basically, you choose your own prizes. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, awesome. It's awesome. Now, okay. intermediate, what's yes. that? Well, those are the people that, yeah, maybe they take their, their paint to their Gundams, you mm -hmm. know, and they change it, they modify it a little bit in some ways, they add some panel lines, you know, they go that little extra step mm -hmm. from the beginning level. And uh, we expect to, we'll see uh, the sci-fi and the non-sci-fi kits. Uh, just not out of the box, maybe little changes here and there that really catch our eye. Mm. Uh, the same four winners, but yep. uh, it increases one first place, two second, three third, and four fourths. That's insane. It's insane. And the first place winner gets 1,500 yen. Fif yeah, 15,000. 15, 15,000 yen. 15,000 yen. 150 uh, bucks. <laughs> 150 yeah. bucks. Uh, yeah. And second place is 100, third is 60, and four is 4,000. Yes. But there's four uh, winners to get that. Yeah. Four. So yeah, yeah I that's mean, pretty awesome. we're trying to make it as broad as possible. Yeah. I think, which is, we want to get as much. Well, as we're, many we're people kind involved. of opening the floodgates yeah. here. Like we're asking sci-fi and non-sci-fi. Yep. So we want to be able to reward as many people. Yep. as we can. Absolutely. So. Okay. Next is advanced. Yep. <clears throat> what advanced is, is like beyond me. I can't even do it. No. <laughs> These are the people that scratch build. Uh, they make their own parts. Dioramas. Ellie's. Yeah. Custom airbrushed paint jobs. Uh, they make their own decals, you know, things like that. Like, you'll know when you see it. That's what I said last time. You know when you see it. Because it's not something you can go to the store and buy. It's a completely new animal. Yep. Yeah. Prizes, as before, we have one first place. He gets, uh, yeah. should I do this in yen? 20,000 yen. Yeah. Second, yeah. Two second place people, each yeah. getting uh, 15,000 yen. Yeah. Third place is 10,000 yen. Three third places. And yeah. fourth place is four winners with 8,000 yen each in prizes. Okay. Now, when I talk about, like, what what I just said in regards to uh, advanced kits. Mm -hmm. uh, keep in mind that these non-sci-fi kits, uh, the advanced ones are not going to you know, look like these big monstrosity. You know, if you're making a car, the detail will be in how you paint the engine, mm. what details you add there, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. Maybe or like you make a plane a paint making job. it looking, look super realistic. Yeah, like or a craft airplane as part oh, of the diorama, yeah, or you know, yeah. a tank in, engaged in some battle kind of, damage. Yeah, like World War II kits. Like, I'm more excited to see actually the advanced uh, non-sci-fi kits because I think that's where the modern skill has to really come in. Like, yeah. 
Now, I can't do it. how to enter is a little bit more complicated yes. than last time. So, you need to join Hobbylink TV. Now, mm -hmm. this is all on the page, so you, the steps are pretty straightforward. Yes. Join Hobbylink TV and become a member. Yes. Now, you'll see on the page is join the community. Uh, that's where we want you to be. Now, mm -hmm. the second step after you've joined is you need to join a group. We are going to make that group. We're going to make those groups yes. that best suit your modeling ability. And yes. as uh, described, we have beginner, intermediate, advanced. Yep. And the third step is within this four month period, yeah. you have to post at least four work in progress yes. photos. Also, we should mention that this, this model that you're going to be working on cannot appear anywhere else on oh, the yeah, internet. Absolutely. So we had mentioned this last time, we want people to actually start fresh, start new. Don't, uh, as we've seen in the past in other modeling competitions mm -hmm. on other sites, don't just recycle this one kit that you can, yeah. sure it's awesome, but if you enter it in every competition, what if, we want unique. So what we're asking as the first picture that you submit, mm -hmm. we ask that you just, just show us the box and say, this is the kit that I'm going to be doing. Yeah, first image, the yeah. box. The first image is, I'm going to use this one. This is the box, you know, show us what it's got inside. It shouldn't be, you know, already half done, you know. <laughs> so. Well, you can show us the box. I mean, yeah. it's, um, no, the one thing which is slightly different from last year yeah. is because you're posting in groups, we're going to allow people to post multiple images in their yeah. selected group yeah. of multiple kits but yeah. step four is your final submission and that's yeah. when you um, fill out the submission form and, yeah. and email me your work you can only have one final submission yeah. so you're welcome to work on a few kits during this period yeah but you need to choose one and then send it to me yeah now there is a form you need to click on that and upload your images now there are some specifications with the images yep we need uh, front, back, left, right, and then whatever dynamic poses yeah. you want. Preferably a uh, 45 degree angle shot yeah. as well. And then there's like maximum width, yep. 1200, minimum width, 900. Yep. That's for landscape, portrait is 1200 Fine. maximum, yep. minimum 900. But this is all on the page. There will yep. be a link under the video, so you can get all this detail there. Yep. But yeah, so it's slightly more complicated, but we want to get more people involved. So, mm -hmm. you know, when people start posting, you know, give feedback. If people need help, if they're in the beginner category, yeah, you know, give them, we can all help each other out. Yeah, Sid awesome. and I will be there. But we I did. can't enter, but I'm going to be encouraging <laughs> everybody. Yeah. Encouraging. Yeah. Stealing ideas from my <laughs> own personal <laughs> projects. Uh, we also reserve the right, though, to move you from one group to another or a category yeah. to another. If we feel your work is either too advanced or not advanced enough. Well, we did, sorry to cut you yeah, off here, yeah, but we did yeah, kind yeah. of see this last last year where in some situations people, maybe they weren't quite, uh, how do you say, confident in their modeling ability and so they put themselves in maybe like the beginner category. But when we saw like the amount of detail that they were able to do to that kit, we realized, you know, this guy's got some skill. Serious He's definitely not skill. a beginner. We're going to kind of bump him up. Yeah. A little bit. And conversely, yeah. we had somebody enter this, these gigantic things into, you know, advanced and maybe they didn't quite hang with the top of guys there so we kind of bumped them back down. Yeah. So. But uh, with, I mean that's your final image that yeah. you send us, we'll move to the category yeah. we feel is appropriate. Yeah. Um, now, sorry, just the reason why mm -hmm. we ask you to become a member and join a group is so when you do submit your final submission with your Hobbylink TV username, yeah. we can check that you've actually been taking part yeah. in the community and slowly building up your kit over yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also I think what is unique in this competition is that because we have this community now that people can use, you can actually get feedback in real time. Mm. Like you say, oh, I've been working on this and I put this here and somebody might say, well, that looks really good, but what if you did this? Mm. And then you have the opportunity to change and adapt mm. before you submit your final mm. final result or final image. But you have a good, I mean, the amount of prizes we're given out and the amount of winners there oh, yeah. can be, it's going to be sweet. It's craziness. Okay, so, general uh, rules. Anything let's else before go we get rules. Give them a start date, give them an end okay. date. This begins Monday the 26th of August, which is probably the air date of yeah, this, this video. Of this video. Mm -hmm. The competition does end on January the 1st, 2014. So you have a good chunk of time to be posting yeah. your work in progress. Yes. Um, now, winners will be announced no later than January the 31st. Mm -hmm. So that's the dates. Yeah. Now, entries can be made using any combination of any model kits and materials. The only restriction on modifications is that no photos can be touched up in order to alter yeah, the yeah. appearance. So no, no crazy Photoshop. <laughs> no Photoshop, preferably. Here's my, here's my F1 race car. He just takes a picture of a real F1 <laughs> race car. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> or like virtual decals. That's right. That's um, right. As I mentioned before, you can post multiple images yep. and multiple kits in progress. 
but only one final submission very important mm -hmm. um, as we said before anyone who enters this competition with a model kit or kits that have appeared on the internet that includes blogs Work in progress, forum Forms. builds, competitions, review builds, or promotions will be ineligible to enter yeah. unless on unless you have been doing it on for the competition on, yeah, yeah. on Hobby Link yeah. TV. After the competition has ended and the winners announced, entrants can then publish images of their kits online outside of Hobby Link TV. That's Very right. important. Yeah. And only official kits are allowed in the modeling mm. competition, so no knockoffs or garage kits. Yeah, no bootlegs. No bootlegs. That's a straight away. Yeah. See you later. And now that the, we're having this, this uh, contest on the community with the community involved. If somebody dis, does try to sneak in a, a bootleg, for example, there's a lot of knowledgeable people on our uh, forum who'll be able to say, you know what? Yeah. yeah sorry, ain't, but that's that not quite kosher. right. <laughs> yeah. That's um, all the questions. Well, that's all I need yeah, to say. That's all the details. Um, I'm sure people will have questions. We did uh, say a lot of stuff. So yeah. yes, people will have questions, but please remember that uh, all the stuff will be in text below this video, you'll be able yeah. to reference it at any time. We'll have the links up there, as well as probably in the first sentence of the groups we create. So we'll yeah, please there. read the general rules before you yeah. decide to post the question, because a lot yeah. of these rules were put in place from the last competition, yeah. as people were asking all of these questions. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just best of luck. I'm very excited. It's going to be awesome. I'm very excited to see the works in progress. It's like, because be awesome. not only you see the end product, but to actually see yep. it progress will be cool. So yeah, it's going to be great. Yep, it's going to be awesome. No. So uh, get cracking. Get cracking. But remember, you have time, so don't don't have to rush. And uh, as this is going on, please uh, participate in the forums. Mm -hmm. Have yourself a good time, mm -hmm. and uh, look forward to the end of January when we be start nice dropping to your presents on people. Yeah, these prizes. And we'll get back to Gunpla TV next week for those who yes. are wondering. Yes. And uh, I guess we could. I can say here, the kit bash has somewhat been decided. So we'll talk about that. Cool. All right. Okay. See you later. See ya.